the Jolly Look camera, simplistically difficult. I waited patiently for this camera for a few years, being that I missed the Kickstarter date by only a couple of weeks, so I had to wait, and I kept up to date with the company's blog posts. From the failures in the Chinese factory with low quality to their move to Ukraine till finally forced lease last year to getting one, this one, three weeks ago. So far, I love the camera. This camera gives me the same sense of joy when I shoot it and get a good photo as this camera does at a fraction of the cost. This one was $69. This camera here was about $100. This one costs almost $2 per photo to shoot with developing and sending to the lab and getting prints made, where this one costs anywhere between 52 cents and a dollar, depending on how much film I buy in bulk and I don't have to take the time to develop it, send it off to a lab, or have digital scans made, as I do with this one or my twin lens reflex camera. The camera itself is extremely easy to use. I have an entire video, which I will link right here, on how to use the camera, but in that ease to use, and without all the options that would make it more difficult to use, it's very limited. I don't see that as a hindrance. As a photographer that's worked a lot in film, and is very slow with my digital shots to try to make sure that everything is perfect, I find that the simplicity of this camera, as it adds difficulty, also makes it more rewarding when I get the photo perfect, especially when I get the photo perfect on the first try. Uh, more expensive Instamatic cameras, they range between $89, and I've seen them all the way up to $800. They'll do a lot of the computing inside, they will set the exposure for you, and you'll get a perfect photo almost every time. Whereas with this one, you have to have a keen understanding of exposure in order to get great quality photos out of it. The build quality itself, as it does feel a little cheap being that it's made out of cardboard and paper, I haven't had any issues with it. I haven't had any issues with any of the corners fraying or anything falling apart other than the curtain issue that we discussed in the video I will link right up here and how to fix that. And since making that fix, I have had zero issues with this camera. It was working flawlessly before the problem arose as well as flawlessly since the repair was made. So far my customer experience with Jolly Look has been good. When I had the issue with the shutter, I contacted them and within just a couple hours they had gotten back to me on how to take the shutter out with a link to one of their videos on their YouTube. With that link I was able to pull the shutter out and make the repair and get my camera back into working condition again. So they were very quick and very prompt. I got this um, within two days from Amazon Prime. It wasn't any issue. I, didn't, I wasn't delayed at all. So my big complaints with the camera so far are is the shutter failure. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where a YouTuber will take this out or another photographer in an article will take this out and have the same shutter problem that I had where they were getting completely unexposed photos or completely overexposed photos. So that is something I do want to point out that is a flaw with the camera. If, if I were to order another one of these cameras, the first thing I would do would be to take it apart and remove that curtain and just have happy shooting from then on out. Another problem I am having with the camera right now is apparently the cameras were supposed to come with a set of strings and actually you can see where they're supposed to go. See the notches on the sides and it's supposed to help hold this into place and lock it down. My camera didn't come with those strings. I haven't had an issue with it just because of the way I shoot the camera but that is something that I do want to point out that mine didn't come with those little strings and I had a problem with the curtain. So the way I hold it, the strings aren't necessary, but they did not come with my camera. And I am getting a little bit of fraying on the face, but again, that's, not, that's mostly superficial, and it's nothing I can't repair with gaffer's tape. So I'm actually gonna give the camera two reviews. As a professional photographer, and someone who comes from film shooting very old, limited cameras, such as this guy here, I wanna give it an eight out of 10. I would give it a very solid 8 out of 10. The problems I have with it, with the shutter malfunction, which seems to be extremely common with these cameras, though it is an easy fix, it is a problem, as well as the strings not coming with mine, I will give it an 8 out of 10. Now, as a consumer, someone going out and buying one of these, expecting to be able to just take a photo and reel the witchcraft and have it develop a perfectly good photo with little understanding, I could see how it could be frustrating and I can see the learning curve with using a camera this limited. So understanding that as a consumer, I would probably give it a seven out of 10, but as a professional and someone who 
kind of falls in love with cameras like these. My own personal rating would be an eight out of 10, but I understand coming from a consumer perspective, it's probably closer to a seven out of 10. So I'll average it out to a solid 7.5 out of 10. I do recommend getting one. I think it is a great learning tool. It's a, it's a great way to limit yourself. And by limiting yourself, you can push yourself. And when you push yourself, you learn. And I believe that this camera here could help someone learn to jump into something like this or something in like a 35 millimeter film camera or a twin lens reflex or even four x five. With those, every photo is much more expensive to take. So being able to jump into something that's as limited and requires you to be patient and line up your shot exactly how you want it, this is a really good cheap alternative to learn how to do that before jumping into a more expensive setup or even jumping into more expensive cameras and film setups. So I think the Jolly Look camera is the perfect camera to push yourself into learning exposure, patience, and lining up your shot as well as lighting. Just because of its limitations, it will force you to not rely on all the digital fancy work in a modern camera. That'll tell you, hey, this one's going to expose right, this one's not going to expose right, all of that stuff that a modern camera does for you, this one does not do for you. And I think as a learning tool, this is a fantastic purchase. Now, I do want to share some of my photos with you that I took with the camera so you know I'm not just pulling this all out, but I'm really proud of a lot of these. So let me, so I took that one. And these photos I'm sharing now are all taken after the repair that I made. That one's a little underexposed. And then these ones were taking before the repair was made. So this camera doesn't give you any of the digital witchery that will make it super easy to take good photos. This camera will build your patience. This camera will expand your knowledge of exposure and lighting as well as force you to really take your time with the shots you take because you're gonna have to think them out before you take them. Any photo I took off of a whim like, hey, I get this lighting, ended up like this. Or like this. Or like this. And actually, I really like this photo. The whole silhouette thing actually came out really cool. But still, I kind of just took it on a whim, like, I understand this lighting, I'm gonna do it, and then I did it, and it did not come out how I wanted it to come out, because I was being impatient. So yes, overall, 7.5. My personal review is an eight, and as a consumer, I can see it being a seven. So thank you guys so much for joining me tonight, or today, whenever you're watching this, and coming along this journey with me. I know I've made a lot of videos about this camera so far, and I'll probably make more in the future because I really, really, really love this camera. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I've got some cool videos about tin types coming up, tin types, because I shoot tin types sometimes. So thank you again so much. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you later. Bye bye.